Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about percentage problem. By the way guys, this video is sponsored by Sharpie. Ito yung official marker na ginagamit ko in solving math problems na in-upload natin sa ating YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here, first two problems in which we are asked in number one, what is the 10% of 400? So basically guys, when we are solving for the percentages, ang first step natin is to convert this percent into decimal. And in converting decimal, let's start here and we'll move time into decimal places from right to left. One and two. Ibig sabihin nito guys, the decimal equivalent or the decimal value of 10% is either 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. So let me use 0 0.1. And then after converting the percentage, saka natin siya multiply by 400. So what you can do here is, i, ano lang natin siya, i-shortcut na lang natin siya. Diba? Ang shortcut natin dito guys, is that we will just move one decimal unit from here, kapag kukuha tayo ng 10%, from here to here. From right to left. Ibig sabihin yun guys, 10% of 400 or 0 0.1 times 400 is equal to 40. Ganun lang kumuha ng 10% ng isang number. Mag-move ka lang ng 1 decimal unit from this point, from right to left. Pero syempre, meron tayo itong guest calculator in which we will try to verify whether our answer is correct. Gamit ko pala ngayon guys ay yung Casio Class Wii's FX991EX in which ito yung blue variant niya. So if you want to avail this kind of calculator guys, feel free na tignan yung link sa ating description box. So ito siya guys. We have 10% of 400. So we will multiply 0, yung dating ko lang 0, 0 0.1 times your base which is 400. 400. So, let's see kung ang makukuha ba natin ay yung mismong sagot natin which is 40. So, as you can see, the answer here is 40. So, ginagamit ko itong Casio Class V is para magkaroon tayo ng verification whether the answer is correct. Okay? Item number 2. For item number 2, we are asked to find 20% of 600. So, basic thing na kailangan natin gawin is to convert this into a decimal. So, convert natin siya from this point mag tayo from right to left ng two decimal places, 1 and 2. And then, ang kanyang equivalent decimal value ay 0 0.2. Then, multiply natin yung 600. Okay? So, as you can see, we can use this calculator para mas mabilis yung ating calculation. So, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times your 600. And the answer is simply equal to 120. Pero pwede rin naman to. Diba katulad dito? As you can see, we can break down 20 into 2%. Into 2 10%. So ano siya? So 10% plus 10%. We know that the 10% of 600 is from this point to this point and that is 60. Ibig sabihin, itong 10% na to is also equal to 60. I-break down lang natin. Another way lang to guys ha, if you're familiar or mas mabilis ka sa solution na to, pwede mo itong gawin. Pero kung gusto mo rin itong sinasuggest ko sa inyo in breaking down the percentages para makuha mo yung value, pwede rin naman to. As you can see, 10% plus 10% is 20% and that is 60 plus 60. So, your answer is still 120. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung part na to guys and we will continue with example number 3 example number 4. Now for example number 3, we are asked to find the 15% of 400. So again, gagawin natin, convert natin to into decimal. So from this point, 1, 2. So ang value ng ating 15% in decimal is 0 0.15 and then multiplied by 400. Using the Clasio class Wii's FX991EX, gagawin natin is that we will have 0 0.15 times the 400. And as you can see, the answer is 
equal to 60. And tanong, sir, can we also apply yung mismong technique na ginawa nyo kanina, yung breaking down ng mismong 15%? Pwede po ba siya? Yes, pwede. Una natin gagawin is that we will break down 15% by 10% and 5%. Still, this is 15%. Ngayon, kunin natin yung 15, 10%. From this point, 1, diba 1? So, ibig sabihin, ang ating 10% of 400 is 40. Kapare siya ng example number 1. Eh ngayon, sir, paano po yung 5%? Ilang movements po? Hindi. Alam naman natin that the 10% is half of, that 5%, sorry, 5% is half of 10%, diba? Again, 5% is half of 10%. Ibig sabihin, yung 5% natin is half of 40, which is equal to 20. Therefore, the 15% is simply 40 plus 20 that is equal to 60. And as you can see, parehas yung sagot natin. Now, let's move on with item number 4. So, number 4, we are asked to find the 20%, 23% of 300. So, convert natin to into decimal, that is 0 0.23 times 300. So, using this calculator, 0 0.23 times 300. So, our answer here is equal to 69. Sir, pwede ba yung method na ginawa niya, yung pag-breakdown? Pwede. Itong 23 natin, pwede natin siyang gawing... 10%, 10%, 1%, then 1%, 1%. And that is 23%. May iba pang way kung paano itong gagawin, pwede itong gawing 20% na kung gusto mo. Ngayon sir, paano po yan? Sige, move lang natin ng konti ating paper. Now for this part guys, ito na siya. We know that the 10% is... 30. So, this is 30. And this is also 30. Eh, sir, paano naman po yung 1%? As for the 1%, mula dito sa decimal point na to, mag-move ka lang ng dalawa. 1 and 2. Ibig sabihin, 1% is equal to 3. This is also equal to 3. And 3. All in all, pag in mo sila lahat, the answer is 69. As you can see, parehas lang yung naging sagot natin. So, I hope na natuto ka sa mismo video natin on how to calculate for the percentage of a specific number gamit yung normal way at yung mismong breakdown way na ginagawa natin and thank you for Shopee sa pag sponsor ng ating video and if you want to buy their markers at iba pang products na meron sila feel free to visit their Shopee and Lazada link so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again, it's me teacher Gon Marami marami salamat. Bye bye.